Hey guys, I'm Trent. I'm Michael. In this video, we're gonna show you how to use variables and commands in script on your Minehut server. Okay, so the last few videos, we've been learning a few different things that we can do with script. We did some commands and we did a couple of other things. Now we're gonna just expand a little bit on that. So we wanna do some arguments and variables within our commands. So we're gonna show you guys how to do that today. So we are in game and we're gonna go over to our panel, our server's online, and we've already installed the script plugin here. Yep, and remember if you are new to script and you have no idea what we're talking about, we've got a whole playlist of scripts, so go check that out do that um, so we're only working with script we have no script add-ons yet we will get to those in other videos uh, I'm gonna head on over to our file manager just over on the left side here I'm gonna go back to plugins scroll down to get script and then go into the scripts folder and then this is what we're working with now uh, we have no scripts here yet so we're gonna make a brand new one yes we are gonna make a new one we're gonna call this one uh, tutorial.sk uh, so you can call it whatever you want just has n and .sk we click save, and then we're gonna go Get over- Get the confirmation on. below. Yep. And then we're gonna go over into editing that file. Right now it is just blank, so we just see a big empty window. And then I'm gonna open up my text editor here. Yeah, we are using Atom for the purposes of this video, but we also recommend you use whatever you like and just write your scripts offline. It's much safer that way than copy paste it into the file manager. Okay, so we are going to define our command here. So our new command is we're just gonna make a simple counting command. So every time somebody types the command, we're gonna send them back a number and that number is gonna be how many times people have run that command. Cool. Very kind of easy. sounds like counting in the Discord, but. Yes, exactly, exactly. Only we are keeping track of it through a variable. So we're gonna do command for defining a command and then slash count. And that's it, so count. Cool. And then we are gonna go. And you use spaces, not tabs. I, I use spaces. I we saw in the comments a lot of people like tabs. A lot of people like spaces. Yeah. Let us know the, the the fight is still going. Um, so trigger. And then inside of that we are gonna go with send one to player. Uh, so we're just gonna do this really quick just to show what it is to send that back to the player. Hold on one second, I'm gonna move us over because you posted Ooh. that into the file manager and then you click save in the click bottom save, right. see that success. And now I'm gonna go back in game and then I'm gonna do slash SK reload tutorial. Yep, and you don't have to do the dot SK after tutorial. We already kind of went over this in previous tutorials, but anytime you make a change to the script, you're gonna to wanna to reload it. Yep, and now I'm just gonna type slash count and I should just see it send me the number one and that is it. There it is. Okay, cool. So now we want it though to start counting, like an actual. Because if, if I do this again right now, slash gonna send one count. Back. Yeah, just it's just one, one, one. Mm -hmm. So yeah, we, we don't want that. So we're gonna go back into our text editor here, and now what we're gonna do is we're going to set this up so it just keeps incrementing every single time. Right after the execute the command, we're gonna do add one, two, and then we're gonna define a new variable, and in script, all you have to do is define it wherever you wanna use it the first time, add something to it, and then that becomes your variable that you can use wherever you want now. And you use those little squiggly brackets to define a variable? Exactly, so now I have a variable called count that I'm adding one to, so the first time that this command's run, it will just um, put it from zero to one, mm -hmm. and then after, every time after that, it's going to uh, increment it by one. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then to send that to the player, we're gonna do count, and then we are going to do the little percentage signs. So when you wanna put a variable and send it to a player, you need to put the percentage signs around it and then do the variable name within that. So now it knows like it's gonna send whatever the, the count is within right here. So it should just send us count and then whatever the number is. So we're gonna go and bring this over into our panel. We're gonna paste it in here over what we had. I'm gonna go down here and click save. Yep, hit the confirmation. And then I'm gonna go back in game. I'm gonna do my SK reload tutorial. I see that it reloaded. And then I am gonna just go back up and type count. count so one. the count's one. You hit count again. Count two. <gasps> wait, 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 one wait. Three. Oh, three. Okay. We just figured out how many licks it takes to get to the middle of a Tootsie Roll box. That's three. Uh, and then, but you might want a way to reset that count. Oh, of course. We, we, what if yes. it gets too high? Exactly. What if it gets too high? What if somebody just comes in and spams it and just throws it all off? So we just, yeah, we want, we want a way to reset that count. So we're going to do the reset command. So we're going to do command and then we're going to do slash reset count. We're going to do, whoops. 
uh, per, oh, permission, right? Because we, we only want, I think, OPs to be able to, to reset the count, right? Yeah, probably. Yeah, yeah. so we're, we, we did a video on how to do commands uh, with permission. So if you haven't seen that video, check that out. And then I'm going to go in here and do trigger. And then we're going to go down and we're going to do, okay. Um, and then we're going to do trigger and then we're going to go down and do set. And then we're going to do the variable count. And then we're gonna tell it to set it to zero. So we're resetting the count to zero, and then we want to tell the player that we reset the count, yep. right? So yeah, so we wanna do send count reset to, and then we want to make sure that we're sending actually what the what the count mm -hmm. is set to now, just in case for whatever reason. Count in between the percentages. Yep. And then, that's what the new value is. Exactly, exactly. So this should reset it to zero, and then right after we reset it to zero, we're gonna tell ourselves that we did so. Uh, so, okay, we're going to copy that. I'm going to head back over to the panel and then just paste that right in there. Very cool. And then click save, see the confirmation, and we're going to go in game and we're going to reload our tutorial oh, screen. Reload it. Okay, so we got count. It's it's still at four. So even after reloading, reset, yeah. yes, even after reloading, it is still there. And then now I'm going to do reset count. Mm -hmm. I'm going to OP on the server. Count reset to zero. Okay. Great. And now if we do slash count, if what's I, it going to be? One. Okay. Wow. That was so cool. We uh, we counted, yes. We have the power. <laughs> we counted. And that's how you do commands with variables in script.